Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about color formation using RGB LED. So uh, for the components we require a uh, breadboard, uh, RGB LED, some jumper wires for making the connection, Arduino and register. Here we have used a register of 220 ohm. Now, till now we have learned about a single LED which we can lit up and they will emit a single a particular light. Let's say this will emit only white color light, but for creating the color formation, we need multiple colors. So for that, we have a unique LED, which we call as RGB LED, means this single LED can light in three different colors. That is your red, green and blue. And if you see the pins of this RGB LED carefully, you will see that it has four pins and your normal LED has only two pins. So if we see it more carefully, let's assume we have three LEDs. So it will have a combination of six pins. So out of which six, we have three pins as positive and three we have as negative. So let's say the negative pins are combined together to form a single pin. So rest of the pin we have three, which are positive and the one is your common, that is your negative. So and vice versa can also be there. That is the positive pin can be common and the negative pins can be free. So those we called as common cathode if the uh, common pin is your negative and we call common anode if the common pin is your positive. Here out of these three, uh, out of these four, we have one pin that is your common and rest of the three pin will be based on the common pins. That is if the common pin is positive, rest of the three pins will be negative and vice versa. So first we have to find out which is the common pin. So for that, if you see carefully, there is one pin that is longer. So the longer pin is your common. So here I have find out this is my longest pin. So it is, it is common. So either it can be a positive pin or it can be a negative pin. So we are going to find out that is it is a common cathode or anode. So for that, we are going to need our breadboard. In our breadboard, in uh, component section, we are going to place the pins in different uh, pin holes. Let's say I start with the first one and uh, I connect them like this, in which the common pin is at pin 30. Yes. Now it is at pin 12. So the common pin uh, is at pin number 12 and the rest of the pins are let's say the one pin is at 10, another is at 14 and one is at 16 and the common pin is at pin number 12. So now we are going to uh, give them power supply. So before giving them power supply, there is one step that we have that is using this resistance. That is if we don't use this resistance, our LED might get burst out because LED work under like uh, 20 milliampere. So we are providing 5 volts, so it is necessary to or it is compulsory to use the resistance. So I will use the common pin. So I will insert the one pin head in front of my common pin. Another one, uh, let's say I used in negative. So first start with giving the power supply. So I have for the power source, I have VCC and ground. So VCC will be your 5 volt and ground will be, uh, here you can see we have 2 ground. So we ground, 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 then we have 5 volt. So 5 volt is connected with my red, uh, red color wire. So I connect it to the positive pin and this uh, brownish one is your uh, negative or ground. So I will connect it with the negative pin. So here I have given them a power supply. Now what I have to do, I have to give the Arduino a power supply like this you have to ensure that the resistance wire and the your led wires are not like touching with each other because they might get short now what we have to do i will use one wire so i have two cases for finding out either it is a common anode or common cathode that is your hit and trial method so i have only two possibilities either it can be a positive or it can be a negative so I assumed it is a negative because I used the negative pin or power supply and connected it my your resistance and give them with the common pin. So it is like completing the circuit. So 
so it is a, a negative pin i assumed it i don't know it but i assumed it so if it is negative so the rest of the pins will be your positive so i have connected the positive pin with this green color and let's say i connected with any one of them okay so led lights up this means it is a common uh, cathode pin because the negative pin is connected with the common pin so it is your blue color let's say it is different pin green then we have red so red green and blue rgb led now what we want to do i want to control it so for that i will use my arduino so first of all let's put my arduino and upload this empty program so that the rest of the program which we have earlier go away or we can start with a fresh new okay so i have uploaded an empty program so there is no program uh, already written over there so for now let's say i use the pin number 7 8 and 9 so let's say 7 i connected with the first pin apart from the common one so i have three pins so i use three wires so 7 8 and 9 these are the three pins that i use and i connect in front of them to make them short so this is my connection okay. now let's go to the coding part so first we start by defining the pins so i will use pin mode now the pins are i have mm, seven which is my output pin let me copy it so i have seven eight and nine eight and then we have nine let's add some command so that we can easily understand it so seven is for let's say on the first we have blue because we uh, recently find out then after that we have green and after that we have red so these are the three pins that we have okay now let's write some code so what i want to do right now i want to let the leds one by one that is first the green led will glow then uh, let's say blue green and then red so let's write the code for that the digital write to give them power supply because it is a digital pin and we are writing the value on it uh, 7 comma high let's copy it because i if the blue is on the rest of the pins will be off and the pins will be 8 and 9 for off we will use low same for the 9 number pin let's provide some duration also by using the delay function let's say 500 millisecond okay so uh, this code will let up the blue led let me copy this and paste it for your another key that is your so first one is for blue next one will be green and after that we have the red led now here you can see the high is the first one so what we have to do we have to replace it low and this one is high low the last one will be high okay let's upload it okay Plug the okay so let me upload that okay. so it might take some time to upload the your project no need to worry Here you can see that the project has been uploaded and you can see that all the three colors are uh, generating one by one with an interval of five, uh, millisec uh, 500 millisecond that is half of your second now what we want to do actually we want to uh, like use the color mixing or create uh, like we want to mix the colors currently it is generating a single color that is your red green and blue 
Now, if we want to mix the color, what we have to do? Instead of this digital, we have to write analog because I want to give it some value that is between high and low. That is, let's say 50% of your red, 20% of your green, like that. Or we can also use a random color. So let's start uh, first start by creating a single color formation. So let's say if I just run this. you can see it will be in blue because the first one is lit up that is your seven number seven is your blue so here you can see that the blue LED has been lit up now what we want to do instead of this digital I want to write analog so let's replace that and analog takes instead of this pin number and high or low because digital is like high and low because it is digitally zero or one binary but analog means we have to provide some value so it is like a range and the range will be from 0 to your 255 this is the range that we want to provide so here if you see that high means your 255 low means your 0 but I want if I want to give it a number let's say I want to give it um, let's say 100 so it will be like 100 value between 0 to 255 so it is like below 50 percent and let's say for green I want this and let's say there is no red color okay. now if I upload it you will see that the color which is generating it is a combination of your blue and your green so here you can see it is like more greenish because the green value is 180 which is like larger so if I reduce it let's say it is also let's say instead of 180 it is 80 only if I upload it, okay, there is one thing that I forgot to split. That is, uh, for example, if we are using the analog pins, then we have to use this PWM pins. So here, if you see carefully, you will see that in your Arduino, you will have some pins which have waves structure in front of them. So those are called PWM pins. So if I list you down, it is like three, five, six, nine, and eleven. So I have to use those pins. So let's say blue I connected with 5 then we have this uh, green which is connected by 6 and uh, let's say the red one is connected by 9 so I have to use these pins so the pin are 5 6 5 below one is your 6 and after that we have 9 so this one is your 5 below 6 and it is already nine. Let's upload the code. Okay, here you can see it is like uh, a color combination, like it is uh, okay. I plugged out some wires. So here you can see. It's like a uh, little bit sign color. Yeah, but uh, we call it. Okay. So now what we can do uh, apart from giving them a fixed value, we can use the also use the random function. So let's say which will pick a random number. So we know the range that is 0 to 255. So we can write 255. That is your maximum value. Now let's comment it and do it for the both of your colors apart from your red so when i run it okay let me run it you will see that a uh, different color is illusion is creating apart from this uh, particular color so here you can see that different colors have been glowing let me you can also change the duration Let's say I increased it from uh, half a second to one second and control use the shortcut for uploading the code so it will stay for more time here you can see so like currently the light is like little bit bright in my side so you cannot like let it but if you see like here it is like fluctuation which means it is generating different kinds of color patterns so it will choose a random uh, like value so every time it will run because it is in a loop after uh, one second it will have a unique value of your blue 
a green and a red so it will create a unique color so that's it for today's session uh, in our optimization we will learn more